Hey guys, Doc here. I wanted to do a quick video because I've seen some misinformation out there uh, on some other videos that says that you are not able to change these uh, quantity share buttons here, and that's not true. So I'm going to show you how to change that. First, I'm going to explain kind of how it works. So if your default quantity is 500, your first one's going to be, you know, 500, of course. And then uh, the next one's going to be a multiple of three. The next one will be a multiple of five, multiple of 10, and a multiple of 20. So if you have 100 shares here, you're obviously going to have a 100 here. You're going to have 300 here. You're going to have 500 there. You're going to have, and so on and so on. So anyway, let me show you how to change those real quick. So you go to the setup icon, top right hand corner of your main thinkorswim screen. Go to application settings. Go to order defaults tab at the top there. And then of course you can change options and futures as well if you'd like. Uh, but here's your stocks. So let's change this default quantity of orders to 100. And keep in mind, you do not have to use one of these preset limits. If you want to put in there uh, 110, you can put in whatever you want. It doesn't have to be this default list. You can just put in any random number. But for ease of purposes, we're gonna do 100 there. And let's say our increments, we want them at 50. And I'll show you what increments is in a moment. So apply settings, and there you go. So now the numbers, uh, all the buttons are different. And as you see, if we go up and down here, it's in 50 share increments, which is what we set it to. So again, it's going to be uh, your 100, what you selected. And then your uh, next one's going to be times 3 of that selected amount, times 5, times 10, and then times 20. So just wanted to show that to you guys just because I know that uh, some people just for, you know, wanting to be quick, you know, if you're not using hotkeys, uh, you can, you know, certainly access these buttons pretty quickly. But obviously you want it set to what you normally are buying, uh, you know, on a, on a normal basis, what you're buying share-wise. So just wanted to point that out to you guys real quick. I uh, hope that was helpful for you. If it was, uh, please do me a favor and like and subscribe so that uh, this information can get out to other traders because I do believe that it's helpful. And as always, uh, happy trading to everyone.